G'day everyone, it's Anume TV here once again, and today I'm bringing you a rather late installment of MechWarrior Monday. I know it's not Monday, but it's when I got round to doing it, and there's a reason why it's today and not any other day. Um, long story incredibly short, my computer screwed itself. So right now, um, Bonehead Gamers was nice enough to let me use his computer to make these videos so I could keep pumping out content for you guys. But until I get it fixed, and it won't be for a while, as I, I've got other obligations to maintain first before I think about wasting, oh, well, not wasting, but using the money I've saved to buy computer parts with. Uh, on the positive note, though, Bonehead Gamer's computer is about to get a, a very nice upgrade. And, yeah. Target this one's the one we've met. Oh, oh. I'll get to the actual commentary of things for a bit. This installment of MechWarrior Monday was advised, well, someone asked if I had tried five AC5s on a cataphract, and the answer to that was no, so I couldn't pass up the chance to play it. Initially, the mech itself costs 5.2 million, a little bit extra. Uh, each AC5, I wouldn't have a clue because I already had all four New from target acquired. different things, mechs that come with it, the mech itself comes with two, and then the two already on there from some other things that I've done in the past. I can say that if you can hit the bullets, it is devastating. It really is. New if you can't acquired. hit, well, you're just showing people where you are. Now the two, well, the one Target big thing that I've acquired. noticed is if you negate the latency and all that, the bullets come from different angles. So each of them have sort of different styles of how they want to track them. And that can be a little off-putting at close range and even at long range. As you've seen uh, earlier with me trying to shoot that moving target there. Part of my bad accuracy is that I'm not using my own computer. It is someone else's and his mouse is extremely undersensitive to my tastes. It's the same in the opposite way when he tried to use my computer. He can't simply because my mouse is way too sensitive. Ignore me while I sip on my coffee here. <sighs> Glorious coffee. Oh yeah, I found out the hard way that you can't walk up this bit of snow, which annoyed the crap out of me as you can get up the other side. So I've got to go all the way through the cave here at a pace of a cataphract, which is 50 miles an hour. It's actually a little bit under, but you can see the number on the screen if you want to know the exact uh, top speed of this mech. This is with the default engine that the um, CTF-4X model cataphract comes with. It's not an XL engine, it's just a regular engine. I am thinking Target about putting acquired. an XL engine on this, however, because of the ability to crank up some armor and probably add some more um, ammunition. So with this particular setup, it's you've got so many slots to play with afterwards. The heat, never really a problem, especially on these frozen naps. Now, in a uh, second here, we're acquired. actually going to see how warped one of those boards just go off the screen. But apart from that, we're going to see the actual damage that this can do when I stick on something. That shot missed. So at the moment, what I'm doing is Alpha Striking. For those who know what Alpha Strike is, it's where you shoot all the weapons at once. And that from an AC5 times 5 acquired. is 3 damage per Alpha Shot, or a sustained 5 damage per shot. Now the reason why I'm usually preferring alpha striking on a moving target versus sequential firing is how the bullets actually leave the, the body. New target acquired. There's two ACs on one arm, two ACs on the other, and sometimes that can be real awkward. So for this particular yellow hitting the face, and someone hitting me in the back, it was a teammate no less. Alpha striking when someone's turning away from you is 
usually the best because they're going to be in a straight line for as long as possible. You know, the bigger the, make, the longer the turning circle they have, the more you can do. Now, even on a up close fight with another cataphract, it's quite devastating the damage this thing can do. As long as you keep those shots going on the target. As you see, I do use my core armor with this because I've got a core left. I've got nothing left up. And for those that are wondering, Sword Master E is Bonehead Gamer's Mech Warrior. So, I have to thank him for letting me use his account to use his Cataphract. Because without a PC, I would have not built the money up fast enough in order to make this video. Now, the last mech here is one of those people that like to run around in circles in a hopeless cause. And the funny thing is, he actually kills me because I try and outsmart him by standing in his... Um, he's happy doing a figure eight around this mountain. So it takes a little bit for me to just get bored of chasing him and just stand there waiting for him to come into my crosshairs. I get a few good shots on him and then he just looks at me with lasers because at this point I forgot that I lost my core armor. So, and the bird just came out of the corner and looked at me susly. Right. Evil bird hiding behind the monitor again. But yes, um... I guess it's a lesson. You know, don't forget what pieces of armor you have missing. And... Always remember that if you have to, you can sacrifice an arm to stay alive. I think it's about here where I wisen up and just decide to sit out to the side and uh, run in front of me. Mm, yes it is. He comes around this corner, oh, over the hill, but we get the general gist. He's at 45%. I don't know how much armor he has left because my screen is covered. Oh, I took off an armor and nearly killed him. But one laser spray him ruined my day. The rest of the um, friendly makes here do decide to potentially kill him. He's got basically nothing left but a head, a torso, and two legs. And he's still got all these damn weapons on him. Damn me, a catapult. Super nice we can take him on a hunt. But, as I am dead, we do win here, in, eventually. There we go, his leg's gone. So, once that's gone, he's, he's screwed. I'll just wait for the, uh, the match to end, and... Until next time, see you later. Critical damage.